In this interview with Sam of popular gaming channel Skip the Tutorial, he talks about how he gained over 100,000 subscribers in less than half a year and his tips for gamers on YouTube and how to be successful on this platform coming up. What's up, influencers? I have another interview where I've got Sam from Skip the Tutorial, and we're gonna be talking about gaming. So thank you, Sam, for being on Video Influencers. Yeah, thank you for having me. We help you build your influence, income, and impact with online videos, and even with gaming now, because a lot of people ask me about gaming channels <laughs> and advice on how to start gaming channels and do gaming, gameplay videos. And to be honest, I'm not a gamer myself, so a lot of my advice is very practical, good, principles for any channel so you're the perfect person and just to give you guys some stats on Sam and his success just in the last half year has grown over a hundred thousand subscribers in fact started the year off with 20,000 subscribers yeah that's right <laughs> <laughs> and has got 15 million views so far but more importantly did it in the gaming space which is so competitive so Sam take us back yeah so i first started off wanting to learn how to edit in adobe premiere and that was at december of 2017 and then from there i was doing let's play content because it was the easiest to record and then edit quickly but it wasn't getting any views so i wanted to start and try to experiment with different things and i was kind of at a crossroads when i came to vidcon actually in 2018 last year and that's actually when i met sean and when I met Sean, I was able to talk to him. And I said, you know, I'm kind of a variety channel right now. I don't know what to do. And he said, just pick a direction and stick with it. And doing that, that actually gave me a lot of the direction that I needed to start and take my channel in the right direction. Yeah. And when I was at VidCon last year, I had 200 subscribers. And now VidCon this year, I'm over here with 140,000. And it's been really surreal seeing the yeah. growth. So toward the end of December 2018, yeah. I was doing game design videos, and those were doing well. They weren't doing big numbers, but they were doing fine. Yeah. And I wanted to get into the challenge space because I had some friends that were doing stuff sort of in the similar vein. And I've been wanting to do it for a while. And so there was this trend in the Nintendo community where you would beat certain Mario games without getting any coins. And I thought, okay, great. This is an opportunity for me to get back into this space and actually, you know, it's relevant right now. So I'll yeah. hop onto this trend and see what happens. And then from that trend, I posted that one week. It became my most popular video yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah. And then I continued it week over week to the point where no one even remembers that I started with that trend. Yeah. But now I'm so associated with doing gaming challenges that I can do it kind of in any game, yeah. which is very freeing i'm not boxed into one game yes but also my format is intriguing enough for people tune in consistently yeah. week over week yeah i like what you said though about how you took something that was a niche but you were able to apply it to different games mm -hmm. so you weren't uh, i guess isolated to one game because one of my piece of advice to people is like just pick a game that maybe uh, you love but there's not a lot of channels uh highlighting and then just stick to it but what you did was pick a niche challenge that could be applied to many different types of games so yeah. then it really expands the type of content you can create yeah i mean i just like what like what you were saying is just having a format is really nice in this yeah. space yeah. and even talking to some of my friends where they're like i'm boxed in this game i can totally talk about x y and z yeah. and no one's going to tune in for anything else like if you're able to take gaming and your love for it in a different direction with a new format yeah or you know a format that maybe not many people are doing it doesn't have to be particularly new but you know you can give your own spin on it yeah. then that's huge for mm. longevity that and is that's why i've been able to do it for you know months since then even when the trend that i initially hopped on is already died off i think that's literally the best advice i've ever heard for gamers <laughs> a <laughs> format versus a game how was your observation of your data um, helpful for you to make the right decisions to be able to you know, gain views and ultimately subscribers for your channel? Yeah, analytics, I would say, and I tell this to every creator that I make, is that analytics are the single most important thing that you can be looking at. And whenever people say, oh, YouTube doesn't give you enough information on how to be like how to grow your YouTube yeah. channel. They do, it's just it's in the form of data. Yeah. And I'll be looking at my analytics several times over a day, 
because getting to look at click-through rate and how yeah. long people are watching a video and average view duration yeah. are the two most important factors that YouTube's looking at for recommendations. Yeah. And that's where a lot of my success has come in is been focusing in on my thumbnails and my titles. Now the great thing about YouTube with the AI being so powerful, the algorithm will just be able to help give that video the best chance, but that thumbnail and title, that's what speaks to people. That's what yeah. they see and that's what they read and that's how they make their decision. Any advice that you would want to give to a new YouTube channel getting into the gaming space? If you're starting out in gaming, which is a very competitive area as yeah. you mentioned, I would recommend just looking at what you're getting recommended to you and what you're seeing other creators that you're watching doing. Research what other people are doing, see what's going on, try to find trends if there's ever any there. If there's a game that's getting popular or, or a format like it was for me, then ride with that and that's going to be huge for growing your channel. And it might not come quick. It didn't come quick for me. For sure, just trying it and then going in a direction sticking with it and then using the data to then correct when you're on that path. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for being here and sharing your wisdom and your experience here on YouTube. I haven't been able to answer these gaming questions, so this is perfect. You guys, we're going to put all of Sam's links down below, so thank make you. sure you check out his channel. And as always, we're helping you build your influence, income, and impact with online videos. We'll talk to you later. <laughs>